Hi everyone, it's Pamela Ferguson here and I'm going to talk to you today about job security. So ask yourself today, do you feel secure in your current job? And what that means is, do you think there is no way in the world that you could be fired? Or let go or laid off, when I say fired, that encompasses all those things. And not for, because you did a bad job, but because maybe a downturn in the economy, maybe whatever your company does isn't being as successful. Maybe there was a merger, those kinds of things. Do you feel that you have job security? Think about that for a minute. And the reason why I'm doing this video is, is let me tell you a story back from 2002. So it's March 2002, I just had a baby. I was, my baby was three months old and I loved, loved my job. So what we were going to do is my first baby, my husband detested his job and I loved my job. So I was going to continue working and he was going to stay home with our baby until he found something that he enjoyed. And what happened is literally the day I was going back to work, my boss called me into her office and she said, you know, I, I have some bad news. They've eliminated your job. Not that you're fired, not that we've eliminated your job, meaning that the work reduction, so we don't need someone to do your position. So needless to say, I was completely dumbfounded, blindsided, the whole nine yards. I mean, I just had a baby. I'd, I'd been gone for maternity leave and came back. And I loved my job. I loved what I did. I loved the company. I loved my boss. However, those things happen. So what are you doing to keep your own job security? How many ways or what do you think you can do to make sure that something like that doesn't happen to you? Unfortunately, in a traditional working environment, you can't. There's nothing you can do. However, if you have an open mind, thinking outside the box, you can absolutely have job security. Now, even if you're the best worker in the entire company, the most efficient, the highest salesperson, you still can be let go. And so the only thing that could make it indispensable in job security would be if you worked for yourself, if you owned your own business. Because if it was a downturn or you had employees, you would always be the last one there. And that is one of the reasons that I chose direct sales. From my experience in the workforce, even though I love my job, you know, all those things, it didn't matter. The bottom line was they eliminated my job and boom, all of a sudden, getting ready to come back from maternity leave, have no job. So, you know, you're obviously not financially prepared for those kinds of things. So when I got back into the workforce after having my children, I said, you know what? I need to explore other options where I have a bigger job security. And if you have never explored direct sales, this is an incredible opportunity. If you've ever been interested in franchises, think about, they're not specifically franchises, but it's kind of the same mentality where you buy into a company, whether whatever direct sales company it may be, and you get the benefits of corporate or their training and those kinds of things, but yet you are in business for yourself. You're not dependent on other employees. And the main thing, the main difference from direct sales is you don't have to have, you know how much it costs to do a franchise? I think the average cost is like $300,000 to get started. And that's average. There's some that are way higher as well. So there are some lower ones too, but still we're talking a lot, a lot of money. Now, if you look at direct sales, some of them are as low as, you know, $35. And some of them may get a little bit higher, maybe $2,500, depending on which one you choose. But for me personally, when I joined the company, it took me two months to regain my investment in my franchise, right? Or in my business. Typically, think about if you own a Wendy's or a McDonald's or whatever it may be, a Subway, you know, it could be anything, it doesn't have to be a restaurant. You know, the amount of money you put in, in the first year, pretty much in a year, you don't even expect to make money. You're just hoping to break even, right? You're working a ton of hours, you know, and you're still just getting to break even. With direct sales, 
how much you work is directly related to your income. And as I said, for my business, I was able to recoup my investment in two months. Two months. First of all, it was way less than $300,000. Way less. And I recouped it in two months. So if you are looking for something with more job security, it could be a plan B, meaning that eh, you don't really love your job or, hey, you know, there's tons of layoffs all the time at my job. Maybe I should be prepared if something happens or you just want to get some extra money on the side. All these can be done with direct sales. Tons of great companies, tons of great products. And just keep in mind, just because it's direct sales does not mean that it's not an incredible product. I know my company in particular used to be sold in the stores and the creators saw such, they saw the potential, the business change in the economy, how people weren't going to brick and mortar stores anymore. So they pulled it out and said, you know what, we're going to try direct sales instead, even though they had been successful in retail. And then from then on, the company has just boomed. So if you'd like some more information about what I do or have any questions about how direct sales works, do the research. Look at the DSA, the Direct Selling Association. They're a great um, information for you. And if you got something out of this video, if, if it just perked your, piqued your curiosity at all, message me, comment below, like this video if you just made you smile today. <laughs> or um, you can like my, or you can go to Pinterest and like my Pinterest page, or you can also subscribe to my YouTube page. Have a great day.